Hey, how you guys doing? Uh, it's a, another new week. It's Sunday, so that's going to be another new topic coming up, which is actually related uh, a little bit to my last topic, which was ransom, well, malware on the Windows system, and in particular, WannaCry. Well, other operating systems are not immune to malware, Trojans, and viruses. In particular, we're going to be talking on the Mac, and perhaps even Linux, now, this had to do with a popular uh, Mac app, which is called uh, Handbrake, which is used for encoding video. Uh, since it's open source and free, uh, obviously the popularity of it. And uh, apparently what happened was someone downloaded the source code, uh, source code for Handbrake and um, programmed into that some malware and then I guess re-uploaded it to this mirrored site. Now, uh, mirrored download uh, servers are basically where instead uh, of having one server hit by hundreds or thousands of people for downloading software applications or operating systems, in particular, Downloads, uh, mirrored download servers are popular for Linux distributions because there's so many out there. And um, so they tend to allow mirrored servers to take the load off of their main server. Um, so they uploaded it and then people downloaded it and then get got this malware, which is actually a remote access Trojan called OS X Proton. And... So this um, particular handbrake asks you for your administrator password, which it should never do um, since it's uh, basically free. Um, and while there are some software that do ask you for administrator rights, it may have to access certain areas of the computer that only administrators have access to. But in this particular case, you should be asked for a password, and that should give you indication not to do that. So me, myself, if I am going to install software, I either do it to the Mac App Store and or a trusted developer's main website. I don't go to a third party or a mirror unless I really trust it, and that will help prevent, you know, things like that. And obviously, clicking on um, email attachments that from people you don't know and you know some common security measures that everybody should do or if any email attachment asks you for a password that's a big indication um, so now there is there was one case where um, there's a particular developer of uh, some popular uh, Mac applications that sold. Um, I, now I don't know if it's sold through the Mac App Store, but directly, uh, at least directly through the website. And uh, in in particular, the name of this company is uh, Panic Incorporated. Now somehow they were infected, and their source code uh, with this Proton malware and their source code for these popular apps were downloaded. And um, they were a uh, actually ransing, uh, trying to get a ransom for this source code or it'd be released to the public. And supposedly they're going to lose, you know, their revenue. Which, uh, in this case, the developer said, no, we're not going to pay the ransom for this. Because often they're, they're going to release it anyway. But what makes it particularly dangerous is they can take those, the source code for that um developers applications and inject malware into that and then release it on third party download sites and then even spread it even worse so that's a, a big reason why you should always um download it directly from that developer's website or through the mac app store of course that is not going to be a hundred percent sure it's going to be okay possibly i mean um if that developers websites hacked directly then obviously there may be some more problems but it's it's usually better to take the safest route and in this case that's what it is
So uh, give me your thoughts on um, uh, malware on the Mac. Um, we already talked about some uh, malware on Windows as well. So like I said, um, it's not just Windows. I mean, historically, Windows has been known to get the, you know, from very early on, Trojans and, and viruses and everything. But now we're seeing more and more on the, uh, the Mac computers and maybe even on Linux a little bit, we're going to probably start seeing it. And um, Linux is very popular also for web servers, something else, which is a little bit scary in and of, of itself. So hope you enjoyed this uh, video, and if you did, please uh, subscribe, and uh, we come out with uh, videos every week.